That was weird. What is wrong? What is up, Watch Fam? I am Christian from Theo and Harris. And I'm Michael from Christian. That makes no sense. It's just not even logical. <laughs> it's, and people are going to laugh because they like you. Yeah, I, I could silly. say the nicest thing. No one likes me. You say nothing. And everyone's like, oh, it's that's great. We're having a great day. Yeah. They're like, well, I hope you die. Uh, anyway, we're, we're back here at London Jewelers uh, yes. in the Manhasset location, uh, Manhasset Watch Salon. It's like 30,000 square feet of luxury goods, most of which are watches. So uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of a cool place for me as a watch guy. Yeah. Not no, so me much too. you. No, no, me too. <laughs> I have to be inclusive. I have to remember to include <laughs> you. Um, we sat down today. We're sitting down today and looking at three different watches. Um, uh, you know, you, you picked them out, actually. I did. I did. I got here before you. So, yeah. So, what, 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 what would you have in mind when you're picking out the watches? The three watches I picked out, obviously, there's going to be new watches coming out this year. But mm -hmm. these are the three most likely to be bought by me if I'm going to buy a watch watches. Yes. These, these are all awesome. They're all a little yes. different, but they're awesome watches. And the last one that we'll go over, actually, you figured out is <laughs> it's kind of an insane steal. And yeah. you can only probably get it here because it is literally gone. Yes. The fact that this else. watch is on the table here is here is uh, very uncommon. I don't even realize. I don't think London even realizes what they have and here. And it's, it's obviously going for retail, which it no longer does. Yes. So uh, anyway, we're here at London Jewelers where, uh, where <laughs> dreams come true. So. Uh, uh, all right, um, let's get into it. What, uh, what do you have on your wrist? Today I have the, well, this is one of the watches we're talking about. I have a Black Bay 58 with a nylon strap. Yes. You know me. I love the proportions when it comes to the case, meaning yes. that thin, thin strap. Yes. I think that that's what a tool, why I like that so much more than a bracelet. It's not even close. I love, we'll get into this watch obviously in a second, but yeah, I love this. The 58 actually fits perfectly. Agreed. Nope, you're, no, you're, good, good, you're, you're good. good. Just a couple of nice boys letting people walk right on by. Never, never worry about it. You're all good. You're all good. You I just promise. came back to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing a watch that I don't even know why I don't own this watch. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna buy this watch. We, it's this so much happens fun. every single time. Yes. I find a cool watch. Yes. <laughs> Mr. Moneybags over here buys it. I don't know why I don't have this watch. Next day. Whoops. So, so, <laughs> so I was. I just found this watch before, and I'm showing Michael how cool it is. Michael said, "You know who I don't like? I don't like Nomos Tetras." And I said, yeah. "No, no." He said, really? "You should really look at them." The, the Nomos Tetra is, in my opinion, um, <laughs> one of. <laughs> this is of a half hour ago. <laughs> in my opinion, um, one of one of the coolest watches at the price point. This watch comes in around two thousand dollars, and 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 realistically. Um, Watches don't really get this cool and, and this good uh, below five thousand. Like really, this is like a two thousand dollars. What Christian said when he opened up, we were looking at how much it costs. You said it's it's free. It's free. It, 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 it sounds silly, but it's so underpriced. It's it's silly, and and yeah. we'll get into why I think that in a little while. Um, but I'm wearing this watch, and it's an absolute blast to wear. It's a, it's a literal blast to wear. Yeah, and and, and, I, and I think I'm sorry. I think yeah. frankly, uh -huh. okay, that. Uh, Nomos should even take their approach they take with the Tetra yep. and apply it to other collections in their... In their 100%. So, and we'll talk about that, but yep. next watch and then we'll start to get into the details. Next watch, we'll leave it. It's an Omega Seamaster. We'll get into the details yes. later. Perfect. But it's a pretty funny watch, which happens actually a lot here. We both stumble upon a watch or we're looking in the display case and we're like, wow. Yeah. I'm surprised that's here. Yeah. That happened not that long ago with um, with a Mont Blanc, those like really high end the 40th Mont Blanc. heritage ones or a different one? Nuts. Ones? And they're just Nuts. like, yeah, it's just. There. Well, Mont Blanc has you know has some watches in collaboration with like with this Minerva, these super high quality chronographs, like some of the best watches manufactured period yep. Yep. Uh, right now, and like they're really hard to find because they're produced in limited quantities and they're really tough to find. Yep. And one day I'm, I'm at London and I was like, wait, hold on, is that what? It, like, am I you know? And they're like, oh yeah, we just got it in. I'm like, are you kidding? <laughs> yeah. I've been, I have never been able to hold one. I've been looking at these watches online for years. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, yeah, we just we just got it. Why you want to look at it? And I was like, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll go Thank you. Can, you can I touch watch? <laughs> so anyway, um, first things first. Yes. Can you, so this is the 58. 39 millimeter Black Bay, probably yes. the perfect size for that watch, period. Yes. This is the perfect, well, for me at least, there's people with giant wrists, but for me, yes. 39, 38, even 40 yep. on a diver, proportionally perfect. Six and a half inch wrist. Yes. And it looks great. And it looks incredible. It fits perfect. Yes. Which I never say about divers. Like a perfect tool watch. So if I'm, I'm thinking, obviously I said this, a few times we were at London to go, that works, right? A few times we were so at London, London to go. I was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, genius. Yeah, okay, you're hired. You, you, clearly, you clearly didn't study English. <laughs> it's cool. 
I talk good. <laughs> a few times ago when I was here in London, um, I was saying that I was looking at, I was looking for a diver. Haven't gotten a diver yet. I yeah. got that Nomos. Yes. Um, we now have Grand Seiko's too. Yep. Still need a diver. It's probably going to be this or a version of the Omega, but the size just makes it. So that much watch more on a like a beat up. Ray suede strap. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm uh, I'm I'm really into like beat up straps. I like, really just suede. Dressed old, you know. Um, anyway, really cool watch. I also like what they did with the clasp there. It's a Tudor logo in the clasp. Oh uh, yes, it's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, the one thing I wanted to talk about real like kind of quickly uh, is those the bevels. I was a little bit of watch, you know, terminology. Bevels are on the edge of a case, really where the side meets the top, but particularly most famous in Rolex, where they have this slice through. So as opposed to meeting, you know, uh, on, on uh, having one meeting point, there are two, and there's this flat surface there. I absolutely love this. This is known, uh, uh, this is most popular in vintage mm -hmm. Mariners and vintage uh, GMTs. Um, it did not exist on the Explorers, just on, on those two. Um, I think it also on the Milgauss as well, but I don't know, it's, it's, a, it's a Rolex, you know, detail that, uh, the Tudor detail as well, by mm -hmm. extension, that I think adds so much dimension. Yeah, oh, yeah. I, I think it just adds so much. It's simple, it but adds it adds a shine, so basically, much. too. Yep. But yeah, obviously this is nothing new. The Black Bay 58 isn't, yeah, no, isn't no, no, someone's no. not gonna be like, wow, I never saw that before. Right. But when thinking about a diver under 40 millimeters for less than four grand, yep. this is insane. Agreed, agreed. Now onto this watch. So one, let's, let's talk about your history talk, with this let's watch. Let's talk about something that, that I've always wanted to share with you. <laughs> um, so the, the Tetra, is a, is, a, is a collection, is a model that Nomos has had in their collection for, for quite a while. This is not a new watch to them. But the Tetra line are a blast. Nomos has this so much a, fun. Some of Nomos at their I mean, best have fun. How incredible is that with a power reserve indicator yep. uh, and then this one with, without. Super bright, bold colors. Incredible. And even the case, while very simple square, has these, like, what would you call them? Like It's like a stepped lug. You know what it reminds me of? Like um, Gatsby. Very I don't know what Art Deco. Of it. It's like a very Art, art Deco, yes, yes, you know. Yes. Totally. Uh, and, I, and I think the, the, the colors are not obvious, right? This is like a, I don't know, what would you call it? Like a peach? Like a pink peach? Peach pomegranate. Yeah, right? Something. I mean, the, yeah, like the, the numerals themselves are definitely pomegranate. The dimensions are 29 and a half by 29 and a half. It's a square. Um, but it doesn't wear like that. This to me wears like a 35 millimeter or 30, yes, like 35 ish, 36 millimeter watch uh, for sure. So 29 by 29, I think that that scares people off and needlessly so. Um, I yeah. really like this watch. I think I'm going to buy a crazy Tetra. This is definitely, I, the person I picture wearing this watch is like a very artistic person. Totally. Or they curate everything and they have that one piece. It's, yes. not, it's not bragging about it being super expensive because it's not. Right. But. It's just saying, no, I, I put extra focus into this watch. This isn't a typical watch. This is like the studio watch totally. with my light wash jeans. Totally. Like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah, exa it's it's exactly. It's exactly what look, it is. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it, it's fun. It's just it's just fun. Like fun people wear things. Like not, not that you need. Not that, not that, not Us that, analyzing fun people. Yeah, right. Like not that, you know, dull colors or whatever, but it, it is very fun. It, it, for me, as far as like watches go, like it reminds me of an era when watches were more experimental and weird, like the 70s and the 60s and 70s, and the colors yeah. were wild, you know? Uh, we were talking about that the other day. Uh, it's, it's, it was a cool era, and, and, it does, and it's existing. It's coming back now. We're seeing it in Oris. You know, we're seeing, seeing it on your wrist. a lot of brands. We're seeing it here. Um, but I, I think it's awesome. I, I love seeing this. Especially when you look at what I'm wearing, this Tudor versus what you're wearing. Yep. Completely different vibes. Completely. Both beautiful watches. Absolutely. But total, you're still basically under five grand. For two watches. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly right. That's exactly. insane. It's nuts. Yeah. yeah, this is a this is a fantastic watch. I love the Nomos brand, and, and I think that uh, you know I, I love the Nomos brand. Uh, and I, I'm sorry, I had to say that like even more like it, it, I said it as a passing you told remark. Yourself, and now yeah, you're telling me exactly. <laughs> I, I love the Nomos brand. Um, I love what they stand for. I love that there's this, you know, this independent German house that is playful and traditional, and I think that's just an amazing thing. Um, but uh, but I'd like to see them integrate more of this color into the rest of their collection. You see it in the in the uh, club. Uh, uh, you see it in Ahoy a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, it almost has color for sure, but they're so nuts that I think that they should even just let that you know go through their entire collection because it's it's just awesome. They do an incredible job. We have to get that watch. I, yeah, I I, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Have to get this watch. It's, this is watermelon. Is it watermelon? No, no. This is this combination. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, that is it's watermelon. Insane. That is cool. I love like right, watermelon. I get the watch before, uh, me. <laughs> before you. Every time. Last but not least, this Seamaster. Yes. Uh, so you grab this just because it's pretty, right? Yes. 
Is that true? Yeah. Yeah, right. Because it, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful yeah, scene poster. The combination, the ceramic, that like medium blue ceramic bezel, uh, all the details on the plots and the hands. It's a beautiful watch. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this watch was made for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Yes. Uh, and th these watches are sold out. You cannot really find them. This is an awesome watch. And I, and I, one of you guys should scoop this watch up from London, for sure. Shoot Anthony an email. Here's Anthony's email. So one of you guys should buy this. But I really hope whoever does buy this really gets that, like, they got a great deal on something that they should keep because it's a beautiful Seamaster. Someone looking for this watch is no longer looking for this watch in a boutique. Totally. Because it's gone. No way it would be there. Exactly That's right. when you go, you look at the Seamasters and you're like, can I see that real quick? And then you figure it out and you're like, oh my God. Exactly. That's, that's exactly, it's like a story almost. Yeah, exactly yeah. right. Exactly right. Which is actually funny because when we were here at London for the watch fair back in October, there was a, there was a, 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 a TNH fan and, and what else ended up being a London client, uh, but he wasn't before then, that drove from New Jersey all the way out to Long Island yep. uh, to visit the boutique and to meet the people. And uh, it's a true story. And I, I didn't know it until he actually pulled me aside, introduced himself and told me, you remember this. And he I, goes, I drove from Montclair here, or you, you brought him over, or something like that, whatever it was. Who knows? I came from Montclair here because I wanted to see the store and I wanted to meet the people, and they legitimately sized me up, and they were like, yeah, you're a good dude. Like, you're a watch guy, and they, they sold him. They didn't give him, but they sold him a blue Oyster Perpetual, 41 Oh, millimeter. of course I remember that guy, yes. And the guy was like, I cannot believe like this just happened. I just they, walked out with one. They, they just like... It's amazing. That never happens. Yeah, right. You know? Does it happen every day here? No, of course not. But um, but the folks at London really do. I think they do a great job at uh, at kind of putting watches in the hands of the right people. That you is know? nice. That is nice. Yes. Tis nice. Tis nice. Would you like to try it on? Yes. Yes, thank you. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, tis also nice. Yeah, I, I have to buy a new Omega. Yeah, it's a great looking watch. It is. Uh, what is that, 42? 42. 42, it's... Big on my wrist, definitely. It doesn't look that bad on your no, wrist. No, so I it's think probably it similar pretty to much mine. fits on mine. It's definitely a bigger watch than obviously a 39 millimeter watch. Yep. But to me, six and a half inch wrist is usually the smallest wrist I see in people. Yes. And it just barely makes it for me. Totally. So if you have an average wrist or anything above that, you can definitely pull this off. Yep. Totally. Totally. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic stuff. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, thank you for watching. But thank you to London Jewelers for putting all this stuff. Well, you know, having these watches so we could pluck them out. Yes. Um, again, all of these watches are available here at London Jewelers in Manhasset. Yes. They have five retail locations and they sell basically everything. Um, I'm sure that this Seamaster is going to get scooped up because it's a great watch at a at a at a great price. Yep. Um, but please look at look at some of the wild stuff too. Look at the Nomos. Look at all these colors. Try on the, the Nomos. I feel like that's a scary. If if you are not if you are in the Omega Tudor World, yep. the Nomos is very alienating. Totally. Try it on. Just see if you like it. Just, yeah, just explore, explore your taste. You know, I think it's a blast. Yeah. So yeah. thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and do all that stuff. Um, yeah. Oh. Oh.